Hello guys, this is Adam Leonard Rocap. Welcome to the Boring Channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about Maxwell equation and its proof. So you have four Maxwell equations in which you know divergence of electric field is going to give you the charge density and curl of electric field will give you zero and in another case where magnetic field is changing with time so the change in magnetic field produces the electric field and again the divergence of magnetic field is zero and again curl of magnetic field is going to give you the current density and change in electric field so in other words the change in electric field produces the magnetic field as well as the magnetic change in magnetic field produces the electric field this four equation is the backbone of the whole electrodynamics and in a very first time he showed that the electromagnetism or electric and magnetic force are not the two different force but they are the same uh, they are the two faces of the same coin okay and this way for the for by using simple vector algebra vector calculus he has shown that the unification of electric and magnetic field now you can see that here how the how they are the unified so this is awesome uh, this is the this is an awesome equation now we will see you will see that how we can prove these guys okay so we have to understand what does it mean and how we can let me first this equation del dot e is equal to rho over epsilon naught how we can prove it now before I'm going to prove it I'm going to state that what is my del del is nothing but del over del x hat plus del over del y hat and del over del z z hat okay now for one dimension you can pick up any any one of this thing for two dimension you can pick any both two combinations and for three dimension this is the definition of this del and now del dot e it means that the scalar power of this delta and as well as electric field so electric field will carry its uh, three component e x e y and e z these are the x y and g components of electric field now how we can prove these guys well you would have probably remembered that there is a Gauss theorem in electric field that if you are having any kind of a charge distribution for an example okay for the coulomb uh, from the coulomb we are we know that electric field is equal to q over r squared and for any charge distribution we can find the electric field now the Gauss says that if you possess some kind of a symmetry or anything whatever it is that if you are having any kind of charge distribution what you can do it you can make a closed surface which encloses each and every charge present and in that region and this encloses this enclosure of the charges by the imaginary surface will give you the electric field the meaning is in a whole detail I can say you that suppose you have some charges over here over some kind of volume charge on this thing now you can see that there are some kind of a symmetry is there if some kind of symmetry is there you can draw always some kind of a closed surface so what happens is that it encloses all the charges present in this region and now we know that since these charges emitting the electric field so whatever the electric field is coming out it will pass the surface and this surface will lead you to give you the electric field so from here we have to understand just for example Q if charge distribution is volumetric we can write rho dv if it is surface the whole charge in the only surface so we can write sigma into dA if we are having the line charge distribution we can do lambda dot dl now now this guy is going to give you the Gaussian integral it means that the Gaussian the surface on the Gaussian integral so suppose you are having the charges like here you can you are asked what is uh, what is the electric field inside this uh, inside this volume or so on you have to make the Gaussian surface like here and somebody is asking that okay you have to find the electric field here then you have to make the Gaussian surface here so this integral is going over this guy the Gaussian the Gaussian surface the Gaussian closed surface and so that's why it is closed well and Q enclosed Q enclosed it means that how much charges or what kind of charges it is how much charges it encloses well now how it can lead us to del dot E well in another words we can easily say that whatever the charges it encloses what happens that all the charges the charge is not coming outside what coming outside is the electric fields that are coming outside 
okay now it would have if it is negative charges what happens all the negative all the electric fields will coming like this way in some sense you can see that from some point or from some volume the electric field are emerging out it shows that something is flowing outside these are the vector field and they are they are flowing inside uh, flowing outside so the divergence means divergence means that it shows the flow of something it shows the flow of vector how the vector fields changing from one point to another point you can analyze this like a fluid the fluid is flowing from one point to another point so simply the vector arrows will give you the flow so we are seeing that all the field lines are coming outside from a single point and these fields they are they are again passing out from this Gaussian surface well whatever we are uh, making a Gaussian surface it encloses a charge so since this is my charge so we cannot make Gaussian surface like here because whenever the charge you have to make the Gaussian surface like there so from there we are saying that okay electric field is coming outside if it is negative charge the electric field is going inside so it means that it says the divergence law so from the divergence there is a theorem that is called if you are having some kind of a vector and you are taking the surface integral this says that okay this is equivalent to you are taking the divergence of that vector it means that you are and you are taking the flow of that vector over the volume that is the same thing because all the electric field is coming outside from the volume okay the divergence from the volume and if you are integrated over whole volume you will get that similarly we can say that okay whatever the field lines are coming outside it has to pass from any kind of surface because if you are having the volume you can ha you will always surface you see the football okay the football has some volume but you whatever you are seeing you are not seeing the volume but in it encloses by the surface so whatever is coming outside from the uh, volume it has to pass through the surface hence we can say that the net flow of any kind of vector field can be understood by the whole surface integral so what we can do is here integral e dot da can be think about divergence of electric field over the volume suppose the volume i am presenting d tau okay this whole integral is volume and now it's encloses q enclosed over epsilon naught now what i am saying that whatever i am doing the integral i am integral over volume so what i am supposed to do at because we have seen here that there are three possibilities here now the volumetric distribution surface distribution and lambda distri and line charge distribution well now we, here we can see that this integral this integral is doing over the whole volume so what i am force here that we have to choose that whatever the charge density you are having over the surface that is the uh, Gaussian surface that encloses it it will always have the charge distribution about volumetric charge distribution rho by epsilon naught now this integral is equal hence we can say that the integrand that is the divergence of electric field and rho by epsilon naught this must have to be equal so we can say that del dot e is equal to rho by epsilon naught and the one theorem has been proved now the so we have understood that physical mirror how it came and what is the divergence theorem and another thing I'm going to suggest you and I'm going to force you that this Gauss theorem is in integral form and this integral form has too many advantages what advantage is that you can pick anything you can pick Q in close like volumetric distribution charge uh, surface integral distribution as well as line charge distribution and you can find for electric field for everything but what happens to the differential form this is called the differential form of the electric field now you only can have this row it means that you can only have the volumetric charge distribution you cannot do for the surface charge distribution neither for line charge distribution so this is the disadvantage of this guy but it has some advantage that's why it has we have picked up this form the advantage is that the advantage first you have seen in the unification that all the thing is just like that in some kind of a del or in some kind of a differential form this is the advantage that we can see the unification that how they are symmetric objects now we can easily say that another thing is that e is equal to minus of del v this is called gradient of some scalar function so suppose I am writing it 
phi phi is scalar function that is potential so if any field is conserved we can always express in terms of the gradient of some scalar function so what I am doing here is that I am taking this divergence with this guy and I am having this one well now here I can do it simply I will multiply this thing so it will become del squared phi is equal to rho is our epsilon what does it mean it will give you the Poisson equation this says that if you are having any kind of a charge distribution what we can find you can find easily the scalar function what is the potential and in my previous videos or if you will see the electrostatic videos I have given you the idea that it is easy to always find is it is easy to always work in the potential form okay it's hard to find electric field for any kind of distribution or any kind of thing but it's easy to put a find the potential because the thing is that potential is a scalar function you don't have to uh, care about all the directions and so on you just have to find the gradient of this thing and you will find the electric field so if you are having any kind of charge distribution you can easily find what is my phi this is called Poisson equation well if you are in a region where there is no any charge density rho is equal to zero you will boil down to del square phi is equal to zero this suggests that this is called a Laplace equation where does it use it has the greatest advantage because the thing is that suppose you have some kind of rectangular rectangular object or you can have in 3d I can say that this is this guy is like this okay and suppose I'm saying that th it is this plate has some kind of a potential V what would be the potential or what would be the electric field or what would be the electric field so you can see that you cannot always work in the charge distribution because it's hard to find the charge distribution you know that you have to understand that okay that your charge distribution is varying like x squared and you are having a spherical charge distribution but in real life you don't see this kind of things you see always the voltage that some plate is in voltage of V naught. Some point, uh, some voltage is uh, some. Uh, if you are having any kind of a uh, plane or any kind of uh, sphere which is which has been grounded or which is which is in a uh, some kind of potential. Now, what would be the electric field at this point? What would be the electric field at this point? So, the idea of the charge distribution is not too much. Uh, too much broad if you will study the higher physics we don't have this charge density this uh, charge density concept is very good in the lower phases like in 12 or you are in undergrad but in real life we are always interested in what is the potential and if you know the potential we can understand what is the char surface charge density also we can find out what is the sigma as well as we can work out what is the electric field so you see that this equation has too much advantage not in the form of to find what is the electric field but in terms of potential it has the deeper meaning.